In 2024, US Navy destroyer USS Preble successfully tested the Helios system. That means Helios stands for high energy laser with integrated optical dazzler and surveillance. During a weapons test, the USS Preble fired the laser at an aerial drone. A report from the US Navy confirmed the test but didn't give an exact date or location. All we got was a black and white photo in the report that shows a bright beam shooting from the ship into the sky. The Helios system is a 60 kilowatt laser developed by Lockheed Martin, an American defense giant. The Navy received it in 2022, making it the first tactical laser installed on an active warship. This comes at a crucial time. US warships have been dealing with drone and missile attacks, especially in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. The main threat is Iran-backed Houthi rebels. Vice Admiral Brendan McLean admitted last year that the US Navy did not have a deployable laser weapon. But Helios could change that. Lasers give the US Navy a major advantage. They help conserve expensive missiles, they can take drones down quickly, and they never run out of ammo as long as there is power. But there are challenges. The Pentagon has spent 1 billion dollars a year on high energy lasers and microwaves. The results state though that these are not as fast as the Navy wants. There are still big hurdles. finding the right power sources dealing with bad weather and figuring out how to use lasers in real combat right now the navy has 8 odin or optical dazzling interactor lasers on destroyers these don't destroy targets but can blind enemy sensors there's also a 150 kilowatt laser weapon system demonstrator on transport ships so what's next for helios if the system proves reliable we could see lasers on more warships soon and that could change naval warfare forever